Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna talk about my experience being hacked, so stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Jay Carter Ray from growonyoutube.com, teaching you how to be better. And this is the life of a YouTuber vlog. Now, the camera quality and all that sort of stuff isn't as good as it usually is, I don't think, because I'm not using the lighting. I just wanted to get this video done as soon as possible because I am currently being hacked right about now. And <laughs> I didn't want to get super fancy and try and make the best video and then waste time making a video instead of dealing with what I've, what I've got to deal with. I've basically dealt with it as much as possible. There's nothing much I can do now. I need to wait on my, my host, my hosting service to get back to me. Honestly, the way that they've dealt with this isn't the best way in my opinion. They should have taken down the site right about now. This, they Basically, okay, let me tell you the story because I'm going all over the gaff. Basically, last night when I finished streaming, I checked Discord as I usually do to check for new players coming to play on the ARC server. And there were two new, ple new people I hadn't seen before just in there saying stuff like nigger. So I just banned them. I just thought, okay, just people saying nigger, like this is the internet, I get that all the time. I banned them and then I kept on getting emails of people trying to reset my passwords on, I think it was Twitter, Snapchat, teespring of all things teespring i haven't used that in fucking ages and a variety of other sites i don't remember them off the top of my head but there were people trying to change my password and log in to my website so i thought that they were just trying to get into my social media sites i really thought that they were trying to go for my twitter because i thought you know my twitter's i'm verified so people are gonna try and rob my twitter they're gonna try and hack my twitter i see this happen to verified users all the time or people who aren't even verified but they have a lot of followers they, they get hacked but i always thought that when people get hacked it's because they gave their password out to someone and someone just entered their password that's not what happened here. Like my password has not been anywhere online whatsoever. I don't understand how they got it at all. They must have used some sort of program or been able to see the password on my website. I believe that's what they've done. So basically they, they had access to my website. I found this out after they sent me a message on Twitter basically saying, give me your Gmail, you piece of shit. I sent these screenshots to Twitter support who haven't responded, of course. They haven't done shit. Those Twitter accounts are still up and running. And I eventually, I hope you guys can't hear that shit in the background. It's really, really annoying. But I eventually got a, damn, what the fuck is that? I have, that's, that sounds really, really annoying. I hope that's not being picked up on the camera. But basically, after that, I thought that, you know, they're trying to get into my Gmail. They haven't got in there yet. I changed my password foolishly to the password that I used on my website because I thought, you know, they ain't got this shit. No one's got my password. I've been using it for like five years, cuz. My password's safe, bruv. Um, and yeah, as soon as I done that, there was a login from somewhere else and I was like, oh shit, let's change the password to something else. So I changed the password to something else really, really quick and done that and I don't believe they've logged into my Gmail since. I've gotten rid of the password that I had for basic, basically everything and I've got new passwords for everything and I've got two-factor authentication. Do that, guys, do that. Take your internet security seriously. I wasn't taking it seriously. I took it kind of seriously in regards to my hosting service. I didn't put like my real address or anything or number or anything over there because I thought, you know, people, it's very easy for people to see who the owner of a website is and to get your address and get your number and stuff. So I didn't want that out there. I was like, no, that's, that's not cool. I'm a public figure. I don't want that sort of shit to be so easily accessed. So I'll put in some fake DLs, of course. But I didn't think that someone would try and hack everything. And obviously you don't want the same password for everything. That's what I was using. It was really, really bad. It was really, really bad. You really shouldn't do that. 
I had the same password for everything because it's easier to remember. Now I'm actually, you know, writing down my passwords in a notebook, a physical notebook, and I've got all my passwords there. So if someone wants to get my passwords, they gotta run upon me for real. They can't just get it on the internet, B. So yeah, we done that, we changed all the passwords. Make sure you change your passwords and enable two-factor authentication because that's what saved my Twitter account. I believe they have my Twitter password. Honestly, I need to change that right now because I didn't change it. I just got the, the two-factor authentication and obviously they didn't get that so they weren't able to get into my account. So we're gonna change that. We changed everything else. We enabled two-factor authentication on everything else. And basically, they've got into my hosting service site. So they got into my TSO host uh, client page. They've uploaded a shitty music video to both my websites, growonyoutube.com and jcarterray.com. And they've also redirected my email. So any emails that I've got, they're moving that to their email, basically. They're redirecting it. So if you're sending me an email right about now, I'm not getting it. Any email that I'm getting through right about now, I don't have a clue what's coming through. They're getting it. They're going to be able to see all those details. But hopefully, I don't really have any sensitive de uh, details in my emails or anything like that. And I'm, I'm not expecting any wild emails over the weekend. But I am... Oh, my neck is really, really, really hurting. I am disappointed that TSO host hasn't, you know, just reverted everything back ASAP. Because it's very obvious to see that... A lot of changes, a lot of big sweeping changes have been made to my account last night and I wouldn't just redirect my email out of nowhere and if anyone's calling you up and saying revert it back, like I'm not even telling them to revert it to a new email or whatever, then that shouldn't be too hard. But seeing as I input the incorrect details for my address and number, um, I, I guess I didn't convince them that I was the actual owner of the sites and it's well i called them at 7 a.m it's currently 1 14 so you know they're taking their their sweet time i've also informed the police who are doing an investigation into it so this video isn't going to be released until i've basically got my website back um hopefully this video won't hurt the case against them <clears throat> honestly if you keep if you commit a crime against me i'm reporting you <laughs> i reported you b I am a civilian of London, of the UK. I do not commit crime. I pay taxes. If you commit a crime against me, the police are coming for you. I am going to inform the police. Do not hesitate to think that that is going to happen. The police definitely are gonna be involved. Now these individuals, they have sent me threatening messages on Twitter saying stuff like they've got uh, information on my family they've got information on me like my addresses my family's addresses the uh, phone numbers they're gonna make my life a live in hell they're gonna uh, do all this shit unless I pay them money and honestly when I saw this I was like <laughs> you serious you serious bro like first of all first of all if you got my address or my family's address or any of that what are you gonna do like you're not gonna run up to our house you're not gonna do anything like that like, what are you gonna do? Call, call in a SWAT thing or whatever. Like, there's nothing much you can do. Order a pizza to a house. Like, what's gonna ruin my life, really? That ain't gonna ruin my life. It's just gonna be a little annoyance. And none of my addresses, all my family's addresses, are linked to my T TSO account or pretty much any account because I don't put that information online because I am a little bit paranoid and I think that, you know, people will be coming for that information, luckily. So, they're basically blowing smoke, they're chatting shit, they're trying to get me scared to get me to pay them, of course I'm not going to do that. I've changed all my important emails and I've got everything secured, my YouTube secure, my Twitch is secure, my PayPal secure, my Patreon secure, all that sort of shit secure. The only thing they've got is the website and they've got my emails coming through to their emails, so that's annoying, although it's... I'm not in the situation where I believe they're gonna be able to steal all my shit unless, you know, they're really smart and they find a way to do that. And I, I don't think that's the case. But I haven't, I'm not tweeting about it anymore. Um, I was about to make my podcast today. I haven't done that. Honestly, I wanna make my podcast about online security and hacking and shit like that. But I haven't done that yet. 
because I don't want to antagonize them and make them, you know, go even harder at trying to get into my accounts and trying to get my shit. I think they've hit a brick wall and they're just holding their hands up and they're like, all right, cool. And I don't think they realize how serious it is because I'm not just, you know, some, I don't know, some individual online. Like I run a business, like they're hack they hacked my business. So, I think there, there are larger ramifications for that. It's a bigger crime if you hack the you know website of a business and you redirect someone's email and all that sort of shit. There's privacy laws against it. And I think it's even worse because they they are hurting revenue. Like if I had a lawyer, I'd sue them. But um, yeah, it is what it is. So yeah, I got hacked. I'm still hacked. Let me see if I am not hacked anymore. I highly doubt it. I spent last week I mean, not last week, I spent yesterday staying up until like terrible hours. Yep, they still got my site. Let's see if they got grow on YouTube. Until like two, maybe three a.m. And I'm meant to go bed at 12. So that's annoying. <clears throat> okay, now grow on YouTube.com's not there. The server DNS address could not be found so they've only got the uh, jcarterray.com right about now they had both their videos on grow on youtube and jcarterray.com but it seems like they fucked some shit up hopefully tso hosts sort this out hopefully the police sort it out hopefully they all sort it out and we can get back to business but because of that i'm not going to be streaming today until everything's sorted out and i've got my website and all that sort of shit and <clears throat> it's just really fucked up. It's really fucked up. It's really fucked up and it's really annoying because it set me back. It's made me really, really, really paranoid about my online security and shit like that. I, honestly, I'm hoping I can get over it, but this, is, this isn't good Like to have your shit hacked and someone basically steal access to your email and try to hack into every single account you have and it's more than one person and they've also you know called me a nigger and stuff so it might might be a hate crime to be honest so it's, it's even worse but yeah this is going to be the first part of the video hopefully i'll film more of the video when everything gets solved and sorted out and then i'll probably point out like a little bit after that Hopefully it doesn't hurt the case as I said before and Yeah, I just want to let you guys know when these websites tell you change your password. Yeah Change it. Yeah, I've for so long. I've seen those messages and I've been like fuck you bruv Like this password has served me well for like X amount of years. Why the hell am I gonna change my password? Like it's so annoying change it do not have every password the same it's really really dangerous change them asap get yourself two-factor authentication on every account you can and yeah get that security up man because people will try and rob your account especially if you're a youtuber if you're a public figure if you're on twitter twitch youtube all that sort of stuff get your shit in order and pff, i haven't even eaten yet this is pff, I don't know what this day is gonna turn into, but we will try and get like be a little bit productive, even though I feel absolutely shit. And this is so demotivating and dehabilitating. I just wanna say thank you to my girlfriend, cause without her, <laughs> I would have totally brushed this off. Like she, she's, she gets super, super worried about like things like this and shit. Like over over worried like way overreacting worried and shit like that so obviously when it started and they tried to get into my twitter account and and stuff like that i was like like they're ever gonna get in or they're not like there was i didn't think it was that deep in it and then they were trying to get into pretty much all my accounts i was still like it's not that deep they ain't gonna get into my account i get this every single week people are trying to reset my psn password and they never get in, so I'm like, I don't really give a shit. 
but she was really adamant and really worried and telling me that you know <laughs> fucking change everything all that sort of stuff and when we saw that they got a website i was like all right <laughs> okay let's change everything and luckily i did that otherwise they'd probably have access to pretty much everything right about now so i just want to say thanks to her you know who you are and yeah i guess this video will either continue or end after this <sighs> peace out hopefully everything gets sorted out so i thought i'd quickly update you guys basically i have called tso host again to basically see what's going on it's been five hours i've got no response for them the guy that that answered after 12 minutes let me let me remind you he said that he's gonna pass my details or the ticket through to a guy in legal and they're gonna get back to me or whatever but i've also started speaking to them on live chat on the website and as soon as i sent the message this guy asked for the domain name so he can look i sent him the stuff he said thank you uh please bear with me took him like what 12 no nine minutes and then he said i'm just restoring the sites for you this is what i wanted this is what i wanted bruv like you can clearly see that someone has changed all the fucking details and just completely changed the site this is what should have happened you just restore the site to what it was before change the passwords give me all the information and let me keep it moving although i do understand that you know anyone could call up claiming to be me and do all this bs and maybe try and get access to the site so i understand the need for different you know protocols and filters in order to make sure that i am who i say i am but i've sent them more than enough proof so hopefully they believe me now and they'll get everything done and restore it back to where it was and i'll get access back to my site and back to my email so it's looking like it's gonna be positive but don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath. I'll be back when this shit's actually sorted out. Bear shaky cam, by the way. It's like a Michael Bay film. Does Michael Bay use shaky cam? I don't even know. Here's some more mediocre quality video, but it had to be done. Um, basically, I have gotten my TSO host account back, changed the passwords, dealt with all of that. In terms of the websites, my GTA site was down i think they deleted it but that's been restored my grow on youtube.com we've got that back that's up and that's ready to go unfortunately jcartaray.com is being restored but it's not actually up right by now and it could take up to 24 hours so that's really really shitty because that's where people go through to sign up from arc server and all that sort of shit so that set us back a day haven't done the podcast today so that set us back even though i was supposed to do it yesterday although pff, i don't know what i want i don't know if i want to talk about this on the podcast today because i'm going to make this video and try and put this out asap oh shit i was supposed to put out that patreon video today we'll do that so yeah we've got everything back we've got basically all our accounts i don't think they have access to any of our accounts we've got our email back we've so we're getting our emails if we had any emails from earlier on we just lost them like we just took the l we took the l guys and that it, it was a really really eye-opening experience to be hacked like this it's definitely got me more on the ball when it comes to internet security and i highly suggest you guys think about your internet security as well because yeah it's, it's definitely something to think about i will be including a link to an article down below about um you know how to protect yourself from being doxxed and, and that sort of stuff it's more targeted towards like twitch streamers youtube streamers that sort of shit so definitely check that out if you are unsure how to protect yourself against you know hackers and that sort of stuff but definitely two-factor authentication on everything b get that done right fucking now change all your passwords i don't care if you've had them for three years and they've done their job change them asap 
because at any time it can happen to you trust me so like i i would have never thought that it could happen to me i never thought i needed to change my password didn't think i needed two a two-factor authentication i just thought that was annoying because every time i tried to sign in to my twitter on my laptop it was like oh it's sending me a, the fucking code to my phone and now i've got to grab that and do all this do it do it trust me do it but yeah this has been a fucked up get fucked up day yesterday was a fucked up night hopefully we can move forward from this get back to some streaming and all that sort of stuff we're probably not gonna stream today because to be honest um actually maybe i might i don't know i don't know i do need to chill out though i do need to chill out and get away from all this bs but yeah make sure you don't have your real name your real number your real address anywhere online i was so lucky that i set up my shit that way like none of my real shit's online you ain't got none of that stuff so when they were sending me messages saying yo we got your family's address you got your address i was like really really but yeah i hope this video helped give you some insight into how to prevent getting hacked yourself i hope it was interesting in here my experience so here is another update basically yesterday after i released the podcast uh, one of the individuals sent me a message on Twitter basically saying, oh, I'm not starting anything with you anymore, saying how he could have got into everything and how it's so easy for him, which I don't believe. I think it's all BS. I think he's just chatting shit. He's just trying to lie to me. And then he's like, oh, uh, your security is crap, basically let's talk on discord i'll help you out i think he's trying to get me to click on a link to get the rest of my details so obviously we're not going to have any contact with these guys uh not going to reply to them whatsoever as we've been instructed by law enforcement so <laughs> that's that but i did want to ask you guys a question of the day what security measures are you taking online? Do you have the same password for everything or do you have different passwords? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, do you have two-factor authentication or not? If you don't, please get it on everything and please make sure your passwords are different for every single site. By the way, the reason that I've blocked out the DLs of uh, these hackers on their Twitter DMs and the emails and stuff like that is because I don't want to give them any publicity whatsoever. I don't want to give them any chance to gain any followers off this bullshit. I don't want them to get anything from this. They didn't get any of my money or anything like that. I want it to be a total waste of their time and hopefully they get caught for their shit and they go to jail and realize the error of their ways. So yeah, that's why I've blocked everything out. If you want the DLs or something because you know you want to block them and you want to make sure you don't get hacked, then send me a DM on Twitter at jcarteray. Now I hope this video was, I don't know, entertaining, informative, and I hope it helped you out and it helped you figure out a way to not get hacked. <laughs> and prevent yourself getting hacked in the future i hope i've delivered that but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video and hopefully we'll get a stream out today we'll be playing fortnite with patrons i love you guys patrons thank you if you want to become a patron link in the description also jcarteray.com still isn't up so that's annoying seems like it's going to take a little while because there was a bunch of shit on that site but hopefully we get up, oh, it's annoying because we can't get new registrations for the server and shit. But yeah, it is what it is. We're going to keep moving forward. Before you guys go, I just want to let you know that you can download your free SEO for noobs checklist down below in the description. So be sure to get that. This checklist will help you get more views and subscribers by making sure that with every video you put up, you're optimizing that video and you're giving it the best chance to rank in search. So definitely download that. It should help you guys out a ton. And I'll see you guys in the next YouTube guide. Remember to be better. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you.